there is nothing better to actually measure someone else's sentiment by actually, you know, I mean, reckon, uh, checking up on the headlines. If you're really actually a part of that society, you can actually grasp up the same message really quickly. Or if you're actually a foreigner who actually study English alone, then it might actually take million hours to picture this message underlying from headlines. That's my point. You know what? If you really actually hear my voice, you probably had to notice it. I immediately got the message. The Biden, you know, hardly won the election as well as the Biden. And uh, how, you know, this book reveals how Biden won the election by poaching as a uh, avuncular uncle, like, or, a, you know, some uh, a little bit dumb granddaddy type of figure. I know what that means. I'm not lying. It's not really, you know, I don't really need to think twice about it. The last time when you actually know, do you have a dementia? How quickly I have a realize that without even actually opening up this article, somebody working on the street, you know, I've been actually immediately getting the picture of the prostitution. I was really quick. That reflects, you know, my sentiment. I'm not lying. Do you really actually believe that I'm actually that different? Then, you know, I think, you know, headline scanning is very helpful to recognize the truth. Because, you know, only the real people living in that community can actually read something really, I mean, recognize the hidden meaning really quickly. Let's try to do it. I will explain it orally. Uh, orally explain it, you know. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna orally explain it. Horoscope. I don't know. Horoscope. I saw it. This astrology is to horoscope. A cancer. National Guard the troop, you know, they were actually being ill after being served with the rotten food which induced the food poisoning. They were actually, you know, having a difficulty to actually gain composure because of their physical conditions are worsened after being actually served with the rotten food. This is not edible, comestible. This, you know, food is somehow tainted with impurities or even actually de uh, decomposed for that reason that should never be actually, you know, served. Somehow they've been exposed to this sickening material. That's really the reason they are actually you know, found sick. Okay? I should be very quick. Oh, in terms of, I can explain the tonality. You can actually make your decision. Megan Markley uh, comes out to criticize those people who say, you know, what she actually planned ahead, you know, by having an interview with Oprah. Deliberately, she actually spills the China tea. She spills the tea, right? Tea. That means that she actually spilled the beans. She actually opens up her mouth about the very secretive and private life. However, certain critics say that, oh, she meticulously arranged this. You know what? Nothing is really improvised she actually planned the hand just to fool anybody this is another pr stunt she actually heavily lambest slams me to lambest she actually criticized very harshly this type of argument that she meticulously calculated and deliberately planned the opera show tell or skim tell all means you know she actually reveals everything about her she spills the well you can actually say the spill the beans spill the beans or you can actually say the spill Spill the tea, spill the tea kettle or tea cup. That means that she just actually opens up about her personal life and a private information. But you know what, certain critics who could not actually tolerate this. Oh, that pathetic ass, I mean, that pathetic, you know, imposing 
snob who just actually you know, arranged the show by setting up a meeting with Oprah to be in the limelight. This is another PR stunt. Oh, <laughs> you know, like this. You know, she actually responds harshly. She responds harshly to those critics who actually spread rumors against her by actually, you know, what, making up this type of argument that she planned everything meticulously. And this type of, you know, non-improvised version is nothing but, you know, publicity. And we should ignore it. That's really the argument. No. Excuse me? This is an Orwellia uh, improvised one. I can actually explain, you know, do you really actually not remember that? The Brazilian COVID-19 variant found in Oregon. That means the Brazilian COVID-19 variant mutant is, you know, spotted in the U.S. state of Oregon. Oregon's um, capital is Portland. This was a hotbed for in the Black Lives Matter protestations. You remember that? Now, what about the tonality? Then, you know, let me, let me go to opinion. Opinion is a really better place. The opinion is just one good thing, you know? Team Biden's utter bulls on the immigration border policy. This, this kind of in tonality I can explain really quickly, but I don't really actually, I have never read this before. I've never heard of it before. However, I can actually guess what this means. I can, it really comes to me quickly. That means, you know what, the Biden, the entire administration is very much adamant on sticking to its own immigration and border policy. So when it comes to immigration plan, it really wants to break away from the Trump administration's legacy. So it is really bullish. That means, you know, when it comes to sticking to its own point, it would go many miles. It would stick to its gun, even at the cost of losing others, or, you know, even at, at the cost of paying certain prices. Because, you know what, it's really must to do. It's where, you know what, break or make or break a situation, or do or die, die, I mean, condition, right? One needs to fulfill at all. Other bulls, you know, completely, you know, adamant and stubborn. You know what, when it comes, you know, those people who are actually mentioning this, you know, emotional issue, they actually have a greatly forgotten what I had done before. This, you know, headlines are grasping. I was really quick. Even actually remember, I remember this. I was really even actually quicker than most of people. Just actually looking into this headline, you know, there are workers on the streets and I immediately got the sense in the prostitution. Because this is really how Americans speak. I've been actually exposed to this kind of headlines for many years. That's the real sentiment. I don't really need to actually read the entire context. I immediately got the picture. Why would you actually deny this history? The bull, other bulls means, you know, a complete, you know, determination. I can explain it. Excuse me, you know, what if I ever actually click something wrong, that would have no normally likely to be caused by my, you know, I'm misclicking or something like that. I can actually explain all this, you know, really quickly. Don't you know makes you think that this would have mattered more? Ah, morning post, you know. I really read in a headline faster. The only reason I'm doing this editorial is, you know, to explain you. I don't actually read this. Um, this is much too fast. A society that cannot debate on the transgender effects on the kids, it's not a democracy. That means, eine Gesellschaft, die, um, keine Debatte, keine Debatte erlauben kann, erlauben kann, besonders zu diskutieren über diese Wirkungen an den 
af virkningen af denne kinder. Disse virkninger der er transigenter ældres virkningen af denne kinder. Istenite en en demokrati eller en hitig demokrati. De gæsteskaber hvor keiner debat debatter eller diskussioner an den transgenders bisexuelle älters virkningen an den kinder ist nicht eine hitige demokrati i mean you know in a society where no you know healthy debate over you know trans transgender effects on kids not really necessarily parents transgender effects on kids That means that generally there are bisexuals or transgenders or queers, you know, their influence on children. This cannot be ever discussed. Then this is not democracy because they never actually you know, allow people to share their opinions freely. They would like to stifle this free discussion over, you know, what kind of impacts and you know, what they can actually have on children's minds. Then this is not a real democracy, right? Eine Gesellschaft, wo eine gesunde Debatte an den transgender Wirkungen an den Kinder ist nicht eine hitige Demokratie, weil es gibt keine Meinungsfreiheit, okay? How is it, you know, Chris Cuomo is still on air on CNN, despite all the difficulty, you know, posed by his brother, Andrew Cuomo? who actually refused to uh, admit his guilt by stonewalling. How in the first place a br brother Chris Cuomo still acts, you know, and re represent himself as moderator of CNN? But I feel a little bit sympathetic. He's not the person who did this, right? Although I never liked Chris Cuomo. But you know, it's not his fault, right? You know what? Moving ahead, moving ahead of the Rikers of Prison, really, this is a kicking out the Rikers of Prison further away from the city of New York and the surrounding area, the greater metropolitan area of the New York City. It's another form of gentrification by the New York City's elite opposing harebrained. Harebrained means really stupid. Harebrained is really dingweeded. It's really kind of, you know, a stupid asshole, you know, a gentrification, trying to actually kick, you know, the Rikers. Harebrained means dingweeded. It's really stupid. P-brained. I don't really need to think. It comes really naturally. P-brained and, uh, mm, or even I see no one. Incapitated. Not clearly thinking. Not bright. Right? So, you know, it's really like a pro-crime. What does that mean? Pro-crime means criminal. Leaning towards a criminal. <laughs> exactly.
Court packing would be the beginning of the impartial judicial system by ruining the neutrality and objectivity of our justice. That means in you know, a court packing, you can actually hand picking and selecting like minded kindred spirits. Do you even actually know what court packing means? Court packing, if any case, if in, in hypothetical condition, if there is a, such a thing as a court packing, this is a disaster. Why? Because you're picking out those, you know, are like minded, kindred spirit of people, like, you know, politically pronounced uh, judges who might actually share, you know, ideologies with you. Those type of people would be favored, and that those people would be placed on bunk in the bench. Then this would be a disaster because you know they would actually you know uh, vote for something that you might endorse because of your ideological common interest. Then this would be the very impartiality that should never be tolerated in our justice system. That's it, please, for God's sake. What the fuck? I'm not lying. Excuse me. You know where Albany is. Albany is real the capital of the New York State, right? Albany has to move faster to avoid a housing disaster. That's my to Albany, Zolta, Musta, Bewegen, Schneller. So for my den einer Versager in der Wohnung, Wohnung heißt es eine schwerwiegende Probleme in Albany. In uh, in uh, um um dieses Probleme zu vermeiden, Albany sollte finden etwas schneller, so schnell wie möglich. Ja, dieser wird der einzige Weg zu um, vermeiden oder um zu gehen. Ja, um zu gehen oder zu kontern, diese weiter wachsende und zu spritzende wohnungslose Krisis. Ja, das ist eine Herausforderung. You know, Albany has to, you know, quickly find a solution to this problem. What is, what is that? You know, the housing crisis. There is no problem as long as there is a demand and supply equally matched, right? As long as there is equilibrium in supply and demand in the housing market. If you ever actually want an apartment or flat or even actually a studio uh, or duplex, you know, how if you really want to rent in a clubhouse or even actually, you know, a townhouse, that's not okay. As long as you have money, no, there is a no, no supply in the market, then that's a disaster. In the real Real estate market, there is no available house, even if you have a money, then that's a disaster. There should be equilibrium. There is a balance in supply and the demand in the real estate market, the property market per se. You know, whoever whatever property should be listed on the market to be traded off. If you really have a money, then you can actually pay the bill, then you can actually sign, you can actually pay the down payment, and you can actually, you know, make the contract sealed. I want to buy this house, I want to actually rent this house, you know, the landlord is here, you can actually, you know, rent the house, you know, for several months. This could be possible, right? Or if you really want to the house you can actually get a mortgage allowance you can actually at first you know to play pay the down payment ahead of time to secure this property without actually you know paying the full price only a portion of it as a promissory money right thing the thing is you know albany right now has seriously has been seriously struggling with the housing crisis there is no you know places to offer reasonable houses or living places for those people with a lesser amount of money and that's a disaster right what do you want me to do? New York State's, you know, legislative body is called the Assembly. The New York State, technically, you know, it should be NY State Assembly. The New York State Assembly Speaker, Hesse, is right now, you know, working one's ass off to actually, you know, save one's old chum and buddy, Cuomo. That means, you know, doing one's very best, you know, and let me actually, you know, put it another way. Uh, the Empire State. You know, New York State is Empire State. Empire State, you know, Assembly. Empire State Assembly is a speaker. Working one's ass off.
older buddy, Cuomo, by siding with him. He is a truly the person. A friends in need is a friends indeed, you know? You know, when t in times of need, you know, your true friend would be identified. He, you know, Speaker Hasty is really the person sticking right next to a pathetic loser Cuomo by showing solidarity, unwavering and unswerving. The Empire State Assembly Speaker is working one's ass off to rescue his old buddy Cuomo by siding with him despite all. You know what? In the face of, uh, in the wake of numerous revelations and allegations coming out to hit the headlines again, you know, S S Assembly to Speaker is really kind of, you know, leaving everything uh, out, uh, out the window just simply to rescue private, not Ryan, private Cuomo. This is a saving private Cuomo. He would do everything, whatever it takes. To, I want to actually stand by my man, Cuomo. Stand by your man. This is what it is happening right now, apparently. What do you mean by that? Then right now, Albanese and progressives in the Albanese uh, legislative body are working really hard by coming up with you know tax hike plan, which is eventually to drive away job providers. Think about it: if you're really employers, if you're really kind of Amazon looking for a chance to launch your headquarters in New York, do you really like to select this area? Right now, there is a serious proposal for a tax hike. Then you would never want to be burdened with the tax duty by actually you know being taxed by this. Almost like, you know, a double dub obligation. Would you like to do that? No. But you know what? Albanese are progressive. Progressive peoples are desperate to actually collect more of revenues. And that way they can actually expand the welfare program like Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. That's what they want to do in time of the corona difficulty, right? They want to actually hand out more food stamps to people who are less privileged who might actually struggle with the poverty, right? That's what they're doing. But they only see one thing. They probably, you know, lose sight of, you know, the entire forest by focusing on one single tree. That's not my viewpoint, but in the newer post, you know, which is really... Um, the company of Rupert Murrah. Yeah, which is really the sister network of the Wall Street Journal. They actually really prefer less tax and uh, libertarianism. That's really the reason why they're saying that. In America, libertarianism refers to a Milton freedom and a free market. So, you know, we need to actually drive down the taxes. In that way, you know, the corporations can actually thrive in with the taxless community because the market always has a self-regulating power to rectify itself by actually, you know, finding what's best for them. This is really the capitalistic idea, right? But the thing is, you know, Albanese progressive means that Albanese is a reformist, the leftist, the left-wing members of the Albanese state assembly are really working hard to actually, you know, move away, repel, drive away means repel. They just actually, you know, kick the ass out of, uh, kick the ass of the job provider, potential job provider who might actually set up their business to hire more people from New York because they are actually scared of hell. Scared of hell because of this major tax hike. Because in New York, in, in the state of New York, in the Empire State, there is, you know, a possibility to actually, you know, check up the taxes, all sorts of, not really just corporate taxes, sales taxes, or anything. That's really the reason, you know, potential job providers, I mean, that means, you know, uh, corporations, they're afraid to settle down in New York. Because, you know, if you ever actually, you know, settle down in New York, that means you need to pay enormous amount of tax. You're actually burdened with almost like, you know, serious chunk of a tax money you can actually, you know, spend last if you ever go to Delaware. The state of Delaware always promises a lesser amount of taxes in the United States. You know that? That's really the reason why, you know, why Warren Buffett said Bur Yeah, Berkshire Hathaway is there. The Delaware is normally the very center of the tax money. And we learn it from the Economic 101 class. Economics Econ 101 class. In case you think that I didn't pronounce it, but let me actually say this Economics 101. 
You know what? The Halloween is the very best place to launch your business because you know what? That they always promise the lowest tax when it comes to entrepreneurship. Now it has been changed. I don't know. In the first place, that's how in things got started. The Halloween has been almost like the philosopher's to stone and the touchstone. That's been almost like in the gold post. When it comes to actually, you know what? Uh, providing a job opportunities and giving entrepreneur opportunities to launch more business and hang out your shingles. That's what it is about. You understand that? But let me actually paraphrase it. Oh, one last angel in hand. Tinkering with an idea of vegan Africa. Tinkering with the idea of opening up their businesses in the state. and wealth and estate taxes. Estate tax, they don't actually get that. That's not a state's one. Really? No, estate taxes, you can actually earn it. Hmm? The U.S. government cannot touch the estate tax. That's a state. Ah, estate tax is a really st state one. Ah, okay, okay. Estate tax, you know, it's a really, it's a state one. I'm so sorry. I'm not, the United States, the federal government cannot touch estate tax, if my understanding is correct. Estate taxes are normally being collected by the state. That's really the reason each each state has a different estate taxes. Inheritance inheritance taxes and estate, estate taxes is especially af affected by the state policy. California and New York demands higher taxes. Albany's left wing assembly members are scaring the Jesus Christ out of a potential job providers who are tinkering with the idea of opening up their businesses in the state because they want to. Those are you know, Albany members, you know, wants to jack up the corporate and wealth and estate taxes to you know and drive away and repel you know those people who might be really interested in might be really interested in opening up their business in the state because you know what this type of you know income source is the greatest way they can actually the greatest way allowing them to expand the revenues. And that way they can actually throw more food stamps to people who are in need, or they can actually expand or um, they can expand the healthcare system, or they can offer more comprehensive, you know, insurance coverage for people who are sick, who are actually ha having uh, health problems. Right in times of the Corona pandemic crisis, we need to expand the healthcare system. We need to actually provide a much more comprehensive thorough coverage. Right? You know, your premium should never actually go in vain. It should never actually go down the pipe without actually having any fruitful consequences, right? You actually pay monthly premiums, which would be like an arm and a leg, right? It would have cost you an arm and a leg. You feel that this is a too much money. Oh my gosh, I should have paid fortune for this insurance. How would I actually don't cancel it? How would I actually don't claim a new month? No, don't forget about it. Because you know what? In time of a crisis, you need to actually pay the bill. In that way, you can. In times of difficulty, you can actually get indemnification to cover your damages. That's really the greatest. You know, in a civil court, you can actually obtain the damages. But we're not talking about that damage. I have to go. You know what? Thank you, but no thank you.